March Madness Field is set. Is your team in? I'm Darren, and this is Three Things You Need to Know for Monday, March 18th. If you lived in the shagadelic era of the 70s, you may remember the harsh stagflation years were. Many think we're heading right back to that. Stagflation is when inflation is sticky and weak economic growth is present. Not an ideal combo. The latest inflation numbers indicate we would be stuck here for a while at the same time the stock market has been ignoring it. Something will have to give and Goldilocks may not make it to the third bowl. After the City Council of Minneapolis voted to give drivers a pay boost, Uber and Lyft said, OK, see ya. On May 1st, they won't be available to use there. The company has said that fewer people will use the more expensive service and operations would be unsustainable. Getting your hands on Blanton's single barrel bourbon usually requires networking or being at the right time at the right place, like someone did at Costco where they picked up a bottle for under 60 bucks. It's a bottle that could run you as much as $220. Blanton's ages its bourbon for six to eight years, three to four times longer than most. Trade while you're sleeping across time zones with Arbitrage Trade Assist. Sign up today at arbitragetrade.com. Arbitrage Trade is your trusted source for business, finance, and tech info. Women are bad with money. That's what the world's been saying for centuries. But now we've got something to say. Save it. It's time to save ourselves by saving our money until we're no longer 80% more likely than men to live in poverty in retirement. Save it. The falsehoods, the feelings of fault. Then, the funds. Learn how to save for your retirement at wesaysaveit.org. Are more people socially awkward now? Today is National Awkward Moments Day, and I feel like you probably didn't know that. And Melina writes about a possible reason more and more people may have more of these moments. She writes... The COVID-19 pandemic has significantly impacted individuals' mental health, with social anxiety being a prevalent issue stemming from the prolonged periods of isolation and uncertainty. As lockdowns and restrictions disrupted regular social interactions, many people became accustomed to the safety of their homes, leading to apprehension about returning to social settings. This newfound fear often manifests in various ways, such as avoiding gatherings, feeling uneasy in crowded places, or experiencing heightened self-consciousness during face-to-face interactions. One aspect exacerbating social anxiety is the lingering fear of contracting the virus, despite vaccinations and increased safety measures. The constant barrage of news, updates, and fluctuating guidelines can fuel paranoia and intensify worries about exposure to the virus in social settings. As a result, individuals may struggle to relax and engage in social activities, fearing the potential consequences close contact with others. The shift to remote work and virtual communication has altered social norms, leading to difficulties in navigating in-person interactions. Many individuals have grown accustomed to communicating primarily through screens, making the transition back to -to face-to-face conversations daunting. The pressure to read social cues, maintain eye contact, and engage in small talk can heighten feelings of insecurity and discomfort, contributing to social anxiety in post-pandemic life. Addressing social anxiety stemming from COVID-19 requires a multifaceted approach, including therapy, support groups, and gradually exposing oneself to social situations. It's essential for individuals to acknowledge their feelings and seek professional help if needed, as well as to practice self-compassion and patience during the process of readjustment. By understanding the root causes of their anxiety and implementing coping strategies, individuals can gradually reclaim a sense of comfort and confidence in social interactions, fostering healthier relationships, and improved overall well-being. Stop watching Start Living Using Pips, our AI bot. Go to arbitragetrade.com and check out Arbitrage Trade Assist. Papa, why can't we telegraph while riding a horse? Son, there ain't no one to blame but Jeffro. He was riding old Betsy the Stallion, tip-tapping away at his telegraph, when blam, ran right into the side of the saloon. Well, if Jeffro can't do it, neither should you. Don't text and drive. Visit StopTextStopRex.org. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. Pips pick of the day. Arbitrage algorithms have detected a possible uptrend for LG Display. That's LPL. It's headquartered in South Korea, and they manufacture and sell thin film transistor and organic light emitting diode displays, or OLED. Uh, that's what it stood for. Its products include television, commercial, monitor, notebook, mobile, auto, and OLED displays. Could be a nice play as one of the 12 indicators is at a very interesting spot right now. The current price is $4.24, 52-week high of $6.69, 52-week low of $3.87. We are not financial advisors. We provide a service. Please do your own research. Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC is a privately held research company. Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC is solely responsible for the preparation and distribution of the contents of this podcast. 
The opinions offered in this podcast are for informational purposes only and are not intended to function as investment advice. Seek a duly licensed professional for investment advice. For more information about the informational research and services offered by Arbitrage Trade Analytics, LLC, please visit arbitragetrade.com.